Hi everyone, it is time for Let's Get Naked, also known as the Panda Palette Project Pan that is going on here with the Pantastic Ladies. I had decided to pan these two palettes, namely the Urban Decay Naked 1 palette, but also, pardon me, the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. So, um, the basic plan behind that was that I did not want to pan the darker gray shades all the way at the end of the Naked One palette because those are not colors that I'm using very often. They just don't look good on me. They are too dark on me and I don't reach for them. So my plan for these two shades is simply to hit pan. And um, instead I decided to um, pull in my Naked Two palette and use up the two lightest shades, which I use as brow bone highlights, as blending shades and um, kind of, um, go between. For the Naked 2 palette I have to say as soon as I have used up those two shades that I am talk um, I am working on panning and those are Foxy and Booty Call, I will declutter this. I don't reach for it. I think the quality of this one, um, since it is quite old and it has been in my collection for that long, uh, has deteriorated. It is very powdery. There's a lot of kick up. It um, has a lot of fallout when I apply the shadows to my skin so for me it is best to just declutter this after using up those two shades but I figured I want to at least use up um, two of those shades because that way I get some use out of them and out of the palette in general although I have to say I have quite some progress in here too so um, I'll be okay with um, decluttering this after I've used up those two shades if um, you don't remember, um, the Naked 2 palette already had one casualty. Let's call it that way. Um, Foxy I had used up with my last update. And um, I'm not sad about it, to be honest. It was to be expected. I had quite some decent progress on Booty Call, but I did not use this at all in the last month. And with my Naked 1 palette... I had Pan and Half Baked, Pan and Virgin, and a dip in Sidecar, and that was pretty much it. So, and oh, and you could in Creep, the dark gray shade, you could see that I was working on using that as a liner and also to set my, line, my eyeliner. So, um, you could see a smidgen going on there. Now, without further ado. Let me show you my Naked palette. But actually, no, let's go with the Naked 2 palette because that way I can explain something. Um, so for the Naked 2 palette, this is where I'm at. So, uh, this way, pardon me. This is Foxy, which I had used up before. This is Booty Call, which I have pan in this one. I have not used this at all in the past month. Simply because I was working on Virgin. I wanted to use up Virgin first. Um, in hindsight, maybe a dumb idea because now I have to pull both palettes in again. But um, I had more progress in Virgin, so I wanted to get you use out of that one first. And I might always just take Booty Call out of this one and repress it in the pan that I have for Virgin um, once I'm done. So, anyway, um, back on topic. This shade here is Chopper, and um, you may notice that this has a lot of pan showing and a lot of product. <gasps> the reason behind that is, I realized that I don't like setting my liner. I don't like it, I hardly ever remember doing it, it's a pain in the behind, and I just wanted to see some more progress. So I decided to take almost all of what I've taken out of, pardon me, out of Chopper here, and mix it with gunmetal. Gunmetal is this dark gray shade and as you can see I didn't use a whole lot but I hit pan and um, I'm gonna consider this one good enough basically. Now I used these two shades and repressed them in a small little um, eyeshadow that I had here. This was actually a sample size for the the Bomb Voyage um, eyeshadow palette in um, Cuba Caribisha which I had used up for a previous project pan. And I just decided to go ahead and use this one as the 
product. So this is the repressed product. I had a lot more in here. I've used this one diligently for easily two and a half weeks now. I love the shade that I came up with, with mixing gunmetal and chopper. Um, here you can see this is a this is a really nice shade. It is neutral enough. It is very shimmery, but it's also fun. And depending on the angle of light shines on this one, you have a completely different look, and it's just amazing. I am very very happy with this. So once I've used this one up here, and um, as you can hopefully see, there's pan already. I will consider gunmetal done. So. Not a lot of progress here except for using chopper really, which is not part of this project pan or pan of palette. But let's go into my naked one palette. This is what it looks like now. As you can see, I have used up virgin. I've used up what's it called? Sin a little bit. I finally have a dip going in naked. Then Sidecar finally has some pan, and um, there's almost side pan there as well. I'm working on it. Then Buck right here has a little bit of a dip going, but these matte shades in this palette are just so densely packed. Half-baked, I've used a little bit more, but not a whole lot because I was focusing on the Franken shadow that I had created. Then I have Smog, which I've used a little bit. I've used Dark Horse a little bit. I don't remember if I've used Toasted, really, or Hustle. So these three here need a lot more work on. Technically, these four here, to be honest. Um, let me. Then I have Creep right here. I haven't hit Pan yet. I'm hoping to hit Pan on this one within the next month so that I can consider these done. And, um, oh, God. Okay, there we go. So, Adam, hopefully you can see the pan right here in um, Gunmetal. Once I've used up my Franken Shadow, I'm considering this one done and taken care of. But, um, actually, I think I probably used quite a bit considering I wanted a lighter shade. So, that's where I'm at right now. Now, for the upcoming month, I want to pull this one back in and work on booty call. I want to make a bigger dent in booty call, widen the pan, maybe work on the upper half here just to see more progress at the same time. And um, other than that, I hope to hit pan on creep and that is pretty much it for the upcoming month. I don't want to do a whole lot more, which I maybe should because we are already three months in and I only have another nine months. There's a lot of shadow in here. I I am using Naked almost every single day. I'm using Buck almost every single day. And um, I feel like I'm not getting anywhere. I'm not sure if you can see this. There's not a whole lot of pan there. It's quite disheartening, to be honest. It's quite disheartening um, because... There is not that much progress going on with these. I'm already wondering if maybe once I hit pan and I can repress them, it goes a bit faster because these are so densely packed. It's insane. But for the time being, I have to make do. I need to come up with better ideas for Dark Horse, Toasted, Hustle, and maybe even Smog. So these four dark shades right here. Because I feel like Although I use them since I am so pale, I only use a light hand with these shades. And um, I'm not getting anywhere. It's really frustrating, I have to tell you that. So, if you have any tips on how I can make these work a bit better for every day, for during the day, and for office looks, I would appreciate it because I'm a little, I'm a little at a loss right now. Because I just don't see that much progress. So... Let me just give you a swatch for Hustle, Toasted, and Dark Horse. And um, so as you can see, these are quite dark on my skin tone. So it's it's an issue. And um, I don't know what to do about them. So 
So we'll see what I can come up with. But um, I think I'll just continue working on them. Um, like I said, creep. I want to hit pan on. I want to work on booty call. And you know what? I'm throwing in this one here, my Franken Shadow. And um, I hope I can widen the pan. I'm not sure. I might be able to use this one off because I do like using this. And I use this often. So maybe I'll be able to do this as well. So this was it for my update for my um, project Pan That Palette. Um, with the fantastic ladies. I hope you will check out everybody else's videos as well. I will try to link everything down below so you can go and take a look. But um, if you do enjoy these videos, um, please hit the like button and also subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Because I try to bring out more videos at the moment. I am having a bit of a hard time because it is a busy time for me work-wise, but also with the baby. So there's a lot going on. Nonetheless, I do have fun playing with my makeup and um, bringing you videos. I have a few more that I have filmed. I just need to get around to editing them. So we'll see how fast I can get to that and then upload them. So hopefully for the month of April, we'll have a lot going on. What I can guarantee you already is that I have quite a haul coming up for the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. I have not only bought um, the products that are in the 21 Days of Beauty um, sale event going on. I've also added a few bits and pieces here and there. But we'll see what happens. So, I hope you will have a great weekend. And I will see you guys soon. Bye!